Is it recording? It is hey, recording. Hey, what's up? I gotta act serious because I'm the officer. Yeah. Officer who? Officer Justice. Steel Justice. Steel Justice. And that's EE. -E. Not like stealing, but like the metal. So it's better. All right. And this is a pervert named Perpetrator. Perp. For short. I don't know his name because I don't want to get invested. Could it be Iron Man? Stronger than steel. Is it? I'm not a scientist, so I don't know. You can't right, confirm that. We're going to get right into it. We're going to demonstrate a few articles that a police officer may find himself utilizing to encompass evil in the world today. And uh, what tools will we be using today, Dan? I will be asking the questions. All right. You have broken the law. I am the I perp. I will remain silent. You I will, will exercise my Fifth Amendment right. You will be... Doesn't apply here yet. All right. <laughs> All right. Our first uh, tool that we have here is called an asp. Now, it looks tiny. Is that with one S or two S's? I think it's one. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to call you Bob. It's a nice quick name and it's fun to say. I prefer Rob. You at home can try the word Bob. Go ahead. B-O-B. Bob, for short. Good. Now, when you approach your person and he's not being cooperative, you're going to need the heavy duty ASP. Now, this bad boy is amazingly awesome. Now, it looks tiny, but the boy is it heavy. So, your striking points are never in the head. You're going to want to go for your shoulders, on the wrist. It hurts just barely hitting it. Ow. That, that's going to break some bones. You got the forearm here. And of course the kneecaps. Mr. Walker specifically said not the kneecaps. I feel like we should be hitting the kneecaps. For sure. Hip area as well. Um, How about the back, Dan? Are we going to do any striking in the back? Well, I hope I'm not behind you. And if you are, you're going to jail. So, And there will be plenty of that in jail. <laughs> we might have to cut that part out. I'm not sure. I just did a magic trick and it got small again. And uh, all right, uh, another way you could use this is uh, you could puncture so right to the chest oh. bone. You know, it's really uh, some hard, uh, hard hit stacks. Uh, grip tightener when you're laying in a good punch. Okay, that's proper form. By this time, your perpetrator should be worn down. However, if he is still resisting. We're going to need to pull out a taser. Oh, man. Now, we couldn't get a taser because... Well, <laughs> we just couldn't get a taser. Yeah. However, my fiance... <laughs> has one. <laughs> Woo, man. And that is loud. It's going to be awesome. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. Oh! <laughs> awesome. Oh! <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. Woo! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Was not expecting that. Uh. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's good. One time is uh, enough. The results you could say are shocking. That's my line. Well, I gotta say something. I'm you the perpetrator. Just act like you're hurt. Now, our particular perpetrator is all hyped up on... Mountain Dew. <laughs> Mountain Dew. Well, anything else would just be abysmal. Is that the right word, Bob? What mm. would you know? You dropped out of high school. I did get my GED. We have here some certified pepper spray. It's brought to you by Axe Body Spray. Uh, you could find this in any locker room in any public school around America. Uh, we couldn't... I can't get our hands on real pepper spray because we ran out of time for this video and I didn't feel like finding it. So uh, pretty much we're going to want to spray this directly into the eyes of our perpetrator, knocking him utterly and completely useless to do anything. Die, sucker! Ah! I guess you could say he's the best smelling perp. <laughs> 
If you're still with us, by now Bob should be pretty much worthless and he's not giving up any fight at all. He should just be putty in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, Bob. If you've done everything accurately, you're gonna want to now administer the handcuffs. Now these are uh, pretty basic, not a lot to them. You got your, uh, your teeth grips here. And uh, it's just, uh, you got teeth on the inside that glasp onto it. Yep, and we're going to put that directly on so the wrist. So white spot. It does. All right, Bob, you're under arrest. For I'm what? Gonna... It's irrelevant for this video. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Hands behind your back, sir. Hands behind the back. All right, and we're going to... Give a little view here. All right, we're going to put that on there. Make sure we got... Ah, oh, those are tight. They're supposed to be tight. Wow. I can get one finger in there. That means they're on properly, according to a Wikipedia search. Ah. Yep. All right. You're going away for a long, long time. Wah, 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 wah. So you had Bob all locked up secure. His eyes were bloodshot from the pepper spray. His body was utterly torn up from the electroshock. And he got away because you took a little bit too much time in the Krispy Kreme line because it was free donut day and you decided to dress up like a pirate. And you also got lunch at Chick-fil-A and dressed up like a, a cow. cow. The things we do for free food. We could just get a job and pay full price. But that's another matter. So Bob escapes my grasp. I don't call it in because that's embarrassing. And he hopped into a high-speed vehicle. Let's just say... Uh, beautiful red Ford Mustang. We're chasing Bob through. Now this is where training comes in. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I'm just gonna go this way. When it come for you. Kimi. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? Sir, stop in the name of the law. Never. Oh no. Bob has just escaped in your motor vehicle, I mean his motor vehicle. It's to a helicopter view where the Ford Mustang, yes, that's the same car, is in hot pursuit by our local law enforcement, Justice Steele. Nice try. Wow, Tokyo Drift 3. Uh, With reaching speeds of over 70 miles an hour, this guy doesn't even care. Look how he narrowly avoided that Powerade truck. It looks like this officer's gonna have to do a pit maneuver. Awesome! Free sucker! Looks like you drove yourself right into jail. You done did it again, Justice. Yeah. You can tune in next week for our oceanography segment where Bob and I go explore some great whites. It's extremely dangerous. No cage.